his videos, but his videos are fucking boring, dude. Like I don't know. Like Rollo Tomasi. Thanks for the. He's a self-proclaimed video. godfather of the menosphere. I like how you explain the the fact that women go through different phases. So do men. So you know, for myself, it's okay. I can see some of that stuff making sense for some people, and I totally can see that. Meaning, how men change once they get married. How women change once they get married. And then you know, some women are like, well, my man is no longer interested in me like he used to be. And some men are like, well, you know, my girl's no longer my woman's no longer interested in me like she used to be. Right? So that's when you become unattractive, which happens nowadays, seeing as humans degenerate. That doesn't happen in nature when you live naturally, especially when you eat naturally. That's the main reason why marriages fall apart. Well, if, if you don't mind going through the phases, we go through. So when I'm eighteen years old, I'm young. That is not the main reason marriages fall apart. Uh, women are far more likely to divorce a man, and it rarely has anything to do with looks. There's research on this. Uh, men are actually far more likely to divorce their wives if they gain weight versus... I, I don't think there is actually any predictive effect of weight gain on uh, women divorcing men. There was a very significant predictive effect of women gaining weight and men divorcing their wives. The army, you know, uh, we have one, you know, there's only one thing I'm about, right? I'm not saying a lot of this book. 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 I'm not saying a lot
a good job, a well-developed job, yeah, that's true, but not a chiseled one if he means that you should have a low body fat. Um, when men to be about 36 years old is when I peg them at being their, their sexual multiple IP because... But that's insanely delusional. 36, you can for sure still be attractive in general at 36 if you eat well and don't exercise a lot, if you don't stress your body, you will look like you're in your 20s when you look at modern humans, of course. Yes, don't exercise. Eat the worst food possible, which is red meat, and you'll look great. Like Sparage, who has teeth rotting out of his head and needs to wear a wig because he's balding so badly. Human's nature look a lot younger, but um, a guy in his 20s and younger is always going to beat anybody who's 36. It doesn't matter if you eat the best diet on earth or whatever. Youth is always going to be, just always. And these guys really believe that men prefer youth. I think I am much better looking now than I was in my 20s, and I just look... Uh, more mature, stronger, fitter, so no. What is there in a woman, biologically, biochemically, that makes you think that she wants old men? <laughs> like what? It's human nature, it's animal nature. Any animal, doesn't matter if it's female or male, prefers a younger mate, just always. Come on, man. Oh my god, man. That is assuming man makes the most of his potential. Is, you know, developing himself, becoming something, uh, lives up to his burden of performance, let's just say. At 36 to 37, somewhere in there. Happens. Where does he even get these numbers from? It's just random numbers. 36, 37. Start getting destroyed. That's the point at which you get the to have the most of what makes him the most attractive to women. Oh my god. Your attraction is based on your face for the most part and also your height. Okay, your height may not change at 36. If you have a good height, then you will have a good height. But your face will almost always, 99.99% of the time, be more unattractive than your 36 compared to when you're 20, for example. Of course, because you will have more wrinkles. You don't have to, naturally, but uh, most people today will. Your collagen will start disappearing. Not that it naturally would, but again, in these modern slave times, your hair will start thinning. Sverge has gotten far more wrinkly. Let me see. Wasn't uh, great looking when he was younger either, but uh, the hairline has taken quite a toll. Um, let me see. He's, he usually has head-on lighting that hides the wrinkles, but like when you look at him in midday light, when it's just going down, you can really tell how wrinkly he is. Or falling out, uh, <laughs> it's just impossible. 99.99% of men on earth will be way less attractive when they are 36. Overall, so if you stay on your game, you're working out, and you're on top of your business, and you are on, you, know, you have ambition. You have... Yes, if you work out, then you will be more attractive. No, you will be less attractive because you will look even older. Confidence, a lot that takes a lot longer for men to develop than it does for women to get to their point of sexual you know, marketability. And so, uh, one of the things we also got in some mass period regular communities is that men must become women to part. So when women get to the point where it's like they're 23, that's when men want the most. So that's, that's number one, they must become a woman. But this is so delusional. There's no man on earth who wants a woman who's 23. If they are 30, 40 themselves, then they may feel lucky if they get somebody who's 23. But if they would have a choice, no man on earth would choose a woman who's 23. Just no. So Sparage is a pedophile and he is attracted to underage girls and he projects his own feelings onto other people. So Sparage would probably want a girl who's like eight years old to be his sex slave or something uh, because he's a sick degenerate pedophile. Don't just care about... There was actually a stream he did a while ago where he said he wanted to visit Afghanistan so he could buy a child bride and keep it as his sex slave. Nobody, did nobody, zero percent. If they actually had a choice, if you would put women in front of them, <laughs> nobody would choose somebody who's 23. <laughs> just so, 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 if he doesn't get that, then he doesn't get anything about attraction, which he doesn't, it's clear, he's delusional. That when one man is older, I think uh, on instinct. But literally, no woman on earth has ever said that she wants a guy who's older. Most women will say, I'll take a guy who's older if he's attractive, one, two, maybe three years older. Of course, if you're very good looking, you can be 10 years older, but then you have to be a model Hollywood star, such as, uh, what was his name? The guy from Fast and Furious, uh, Paul Walker. His girlfriend was uh, 16, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure when they met, she was 16, which is completely legal in the US and most states. Look at the guy, he's dead now, rest in peace. But uh, of course, any girl on earth pretty much would have wanted to be with him regardless of age, because of how you look like, this is rare, this will almost never happen. <laughs> if you're an average guy, you're going to be way less attractive. Again, most women prefer men who are three to seven years older. 
to the 36. I can guarantee you that. Well, women want black and has uh, more maturity, has more of a capability, a proven capability to be the women that they want to get with. Well, those guys don't tend to be part of their own period. They tend to be the guys who are cooler and more mature because they have had longer to become partner of the you know, law firm or get become a surgeon or whatever it is that they find sort of status by value, but also um, to stand up the game for themselves, have a better character. There's a lot of things. If you look at the prerequisites that women have on the most common dating sites, it's this laundry list of got to be fun, got to be hot, got to be hot, got to No, it's just all about him being hot, attractive. <laughs> Especially on dating sites. That's all that matters. I have ambitions, I have confidence. It's on, 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 on. For men, it's got to be hot, got to be <laughs> It's literally the same for women. Where does this uh, idea come from in this manosphere, in the Red Bull community, that women are different? I really don't get it. Where did you get this idea? You just really want to believe that women are different, right? But why? What is it? It's just so strange. It's just severe coping. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. And so when you go and look at the, this, uh, it's almost like filling out a job application when you're going on, say, like, you know, Tinder, Tinder, like, you know, like, on date, which is the number one way that men will find each other today and start, you know, start dating. So when you have that sort of prerequisite, well, women understand it takes one for men to develop into what kind of making you most attractive to mature into that. I still can't be live, he said that on the internet for millions to see how is he not in prison yet. He's gotten very lucky with avoiding prison sentences. It's fucking crazy. Uh, hopefully his luck runs out soon. Thanks for the donation, Dota. And as a result, no, man, I, oh my god. Uh, nothing external can make you attractive. How do you not understand it? A woman can only find you attractive. Oops, <laughs> probably made it sound weird. If you believe that something external makes you attractive, then you are by definition delusional to the point where you could be called mentally ill. Because you're naming things that uh, are simply beliefs, uh, most of which don't even exist. Such a status, it doesn't exist in your sense. No, there is no such thing as status. But you actually believe that she will find you attractive for the status, which doesn't exist, which is external. And that's delusional. If you're talking about a woman finding you attractive, then it can only be you. This. <laughs> that's what they're going through. So when women are between, say, 18 and 28 years old, that's a key window to find a guy that has the most of what she's going to need in the future. So if you look at it this way, a woman between 18 and 28 years old has got a 10-year window there to secure what she's going to need as long security for the rest of her life. So that's a, that's a lot of pressure. Women only care about how attractive you are and how attractive their children will be. That's it. They don't even consciously think about it. But that's how the body chooses a mate. They don't think about security or whatever. You think that an 18-year-old girl thinks about that? <laughs> I'm done with jerks. I don't want to. I don't want to have that anymore. I want to do things. I want to get back with God. I want to have a right relationship. And unfortunately, in our Western society right now, that's often too late for women. At 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. I'm not saying necessarily the wall. They don't look good. And they do the wall. When we talk about the wall, the wall doesn't begin here. It begins up here. It's acknowledging that they are not sexually competitive in such a marketplace. At 33, I think. No, hitting the wall is when your looks deteriorate. That's it. You think that's right? Understand it. With all the, like, with all the, uh, uh, what do you call it? You know, plastic surgery. With all the, oh, yeah, you forced all that. Right, right. But you're saying at 33, that's 30, 29, 29, 29. Well, the, the, for most women, their 33 year old self could not compete on the same level in such a marketplace as a 23 year old self. Yes, and it's exactly the same for men. 20 percent of men below the age of 30 are sexist. There is no reverse. What's that number again? 28 percent of men below the age of 30, but you know, 30 are sexist. What can those guys do? Is it some of the big things that try to make more money? Make more money? Okay, money doesn't exist. How is it going to help you to attract a woman? She will use you, and maybe you will have some intimacy, but she will never like you. Okay? You. <laughs> oh, wow, one of the most delusional guys I've ever seen. Working out isn't going to help you. Working out will make your face look older. The older your face is, the less attractive you are. No. Does not do that. If you want a prescription, that's where I would, that's where I would go to. Mm -hmm. However, that is not set against this stuff. You're going to ask me why poly. Look at this guy, for example. Literally, no woman on earth is ever going to find him attractive. Maybe he works out, it doesn't... No matter what he does, the glasses, uh, he probably has gray hair, I don't know why he wears the hat always. It's fine to wear hats sometimes, but you pretty much don't even see him without the hat, and that's pretty strange. And uh, the skin also looks, yeah, he just looks old. Uh, he just looks exactly like him. That might be because he's nearly 50. Uh, I think you tend to look older when you're older. Guy who no woman finds attractive. She's like 46, he's like, my age, like 54 years old. And William's dating at the time, he looks like his mother. Looks like he's like, she's got gray hair and everything. And William's like, yeah, he's dating somebody that's, uh, that's age appropriate. You look at Leonardo DiCaprio, none of his girlfriends have been older than 25 years old. As soon as they get to 26, he's like, well, now he's going to look right. Exactly. And so that's, and, and there are actual online sites. Yes, and that's because of the way Leonardo DiCaprio looks like. Do they still not understand that it's all about the looks? Wow. Leonardo DiCaprio is not that good looking anymore. He's kind of like overweight now. And this is the godfather of the menosphere. I guess that you could also say the red pill. <laughs> really one of the most delusional people I've ever listened to. He actually really believes, without any explanation, that women are somehow different and are not into youth, beauty, and fertility. Even though there's no examples of this. Whenever you would interview any woman on earth, she would say that if she had a choice, then she would, of course, take somebody who's handsome, young, fertile, everything that you want in a human being in general. It doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man. <laughs> it's always been like this. Ever since this whole red pill garbage started, men became more and more delusional and started believing that women are somehow different, that men and women are so different, that even though we are different in some ways, we are still human. We still want the same. All humans want the same for the most part. And there's just no way that, as I said, you will find any human in general, man or woman, who won't be into youth, beauty, and fertility. And in nature, we don't deteriorate the way we do nowadays. But today, you can clearly see that we do because of what humans consume. In nature, we drink blood, we eat raw meat, organs. We look pretty good until we are, who knows, 80, 90, 100? Uh, it's really hard to say because there's so few recorded cases of natural humans. According to Ajnas, people who are 80 in nature until they are 40 compared to the modern slave humans. Even if it's not completely accurate, 
For sure, in your 60s, you would look like somebody who's in his 40s today, meaning that you're attractive for way longer than humans are today. Everything is different in nature, which is why it's so hard to also talk about this topic nowadays. But as far as what humans are actually attracted to, it will always be like that. It cannot change. How could it possibly? How could a woman want a guy whose skin is sagging and a lot of other parts of the body are sagging? Uh, the collagen is disappearing. Uh, the- I don't know. Maybe it's because people fall in love with people for their like personality and stuff. But like, again, Sparage is a psychopath who only cares about how people look, so he, he can't understand this. The hair is falling out. Uh, <laughs> everything is getting worse. The whole body is becoming more unattractive. How could a woman want that? Uh, really sad. Some men really... What a dumbass.